In today's daily guitar tip, we're going to take a look at a couple different ways that we can enhance or embellish the open G chord. Let's go ahead and get in here and get a closer look. Uh, so I'm just playing an open G chord. And what we're doing here is we're taking a look at some different ways we can fancy up a G chord or some different runs or embellishments. So the one thing I like to do is first identify what are the notes in a G major scale. We have G, A, we have B, C, open D, E. Then we're not going to be able to play the F sharp up here too easily, so then I'm going to go right to G. We're going to skip the F sharp. So we have G, then A. And then on the second string, we'll get to that. But for now, so we have these notes. And those are notes that we can use to uh, basically put into our G chord. So you can do something like this. I'm going to just kind of go through all of them so you hear what they sound like. So I just walked right up the scale. Skipping the F sharp, I understand that it's not in there. All right, so when you're messing around with the G chord, you can put any of those in any, any place you want. All right, here's an example. Like, That's a real common, simple kind of embellishment, if you will. You can kind of walk your way up to a C chord. You can walk your way up and walk your way back down. Uh, this really isn't about walk ups and walk downs, but it feels like it, it's tied in so closely. So I'll, I'll put in, I'll mess around and put in some of the other notes. As you can hear, you can really embellish a G chord just by putting in a couple of these notes. Uh, it sounds much more interesting. So something else, like here's a, a, a really simple, basic bluegrass run where you go. Like that's typical. What I always like to do is just try different chords. I really try to put in every single note possible. Like uh, I like to do walk downs if you're going to go. I like to put in wrong notes just to hear what they sound like. There is no wrong notes, but this B flat is is not in, you know, in a G chord or G scale. So I like to put it in there just to see what it sounds like. And then I might want to uh, try the notes on the fourth string as well. Whoops. And that sounds pretty cool. Like that's something that I may want to, to put in there. I like, I really like that F in there. That's the flat seven. Uh, so it sounds kind of like a G7 chord. So you might want to. I'm not doing the timing perfect on all these because I'm just making it up as I go. So on this string, on the third string, you have that, the open G and A. So you might kind of turn it into like a G sus2 chord, I suppose, since you're putting in the A. And it's nice to do the, uh, the open, the fourth string open to this D here. Just as a little embellishment while you're playing a G chord. And you also want to experiment with different types of G chords, like this is a G major. I like G major 7th. And basically I'm just putting the F sharp on top. Uh, strings 3 and 4 I'm playing open, and then the 5th string, the A string, I'm, I'm muting out. Like that's a really nice sounding chord. And then you can play a G7 chord um, to make it sound interesting. My favorite G chord is this G sus4 chord. So instead of playing G like this, you're going to put your first finger here on the second string first fret, that's C, and then your pinky goes on the first string, and then your third finger goes on the sixth string. 
That is a beautiful sounding chord. And I think it, what it does is it, al it allows this finger to do some embellishments. So if you ever hear something that sounds really good in the G chord, a lot of times it's... That sounds fantastic. Just doing that alone, just dropping that C in the chord there, turning it into a G sus 4 is fantastic. So with that G sus 4, we have this finger kind of free floating. So what I like to do is basically place it down on the third and the fourth string on the second fret. I think that sounds really good. It's kind of cool. Uh, so when you're when you're putting multiple fingers down, you're probably technically changing what the chord is, but I just think of it as enhancing the chord without trying to get too crazy and overanalyze everything. Uh, sometimes I like to just let my ears go and you know find stuff that sounds cool. So the last thing we'll take a look at is kind of putting two, two, two of these fingers down at the same time. That sounds fantastic, and really, what I'm probably doing, changing from this uh, G chord to an A minor 7th over G, but whatever. However you want to look at it, so it does sound cool. Uh, so once again, that was... And you can move it over and play over here. And just mess around with all these different notes and have a good time. Like I said, I like to do things where I kind of do walk downs. Like... Almost again. And just experiment with all the notes you have down here. But primarily these notes on the third, fourth, and fifth string on the second fret, uh, primarily they're going to be your main notes that you can use to embellish your G chord. Thanks for taking the time to check out this daily guitar tip. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing to the channel.